Steph, thank you so much. What happened today in Texas, the Association of Black Personnel in Higher Education kicks off its 10-day festival for Juneteenth Taffy. Sunrise reporter Cordero McMurray is in studio, studio for us to talk about Juneteenth's origins and how it's celebrated. Good morning, Cordero. What can folks expect this year in the Coastal Bend? Taylor, they can expect a lot of fun and entertainment. And Juneteenth is the commemoration of the end of slavery in the United States. On June 19, 1865, African Americans in Texas were told they were free. They were the last group to receive the news. And in 2021, President Joe Biden made Juneteenth a federal holiday. It's like us becoming a part of history. The Texas Association of Black Personnel and Higher Education of Corpus Christi is kicking off Juneteenth. It's offering 10 days of Jubilee and Juneteenth Festival through June 19th. We start celebrating the 10 days that it took Ge General Gordon Granger to land in Galveston. Juneteenth commemorates June 19, 1865, when Union soldiers brought the news of freedom to the enslaved black people in Galveston, two months after the Confederacy had surrendered. This was about two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation freed slaves in the southern states. Sanders tells us she wants the Coastal Bend to know Juneteenth is more than just about history. It's about celebrating everything that you went through the past year, businesses, organizations, it, it's about all of that. And she says it's for everyone in the Coastal Bend to push forward as one and celebrate through the upcoming festivities. And later tonight, Taffy is kicking off Juneteenth with a networking event at Nueces Brewing Company, and that starts at 6 p.m. And for a list of the full free events, you can visit our website at ChrisTV.com. I'm Cordero McMurray, Chris, 6 Sunrise. Javier.